the word saint or saints occurs 98 times in the Bible, 36 times in the Old Testament, and 62 times in the New Testament. In the Old Testament, the translation of saint stems from four different words. Strong's word number 6944 appears in the Bible 468 times. It means apartness, holiness, sacredness, separateness, or set-apartness. It's most often translated as holy and is also used as sanctuary or hallowed thing, but it's only translated as saints one time in Deuteronomy 33.2. Word 6918 occurs 116 times in the Bible and means sacred, holy, holy one, saint, or set apart. It was most often translated as holy, but also as holy one or saint. It was translated as saint 12 times. Word 2623 occurs 32 times and means kind, pious, faithful, merciful, or good, and is most often translated as saints 19 times. Word 6922 occurs 13 times in the Bible, all in the book of Daniel. It means holy, separate, angels, or saints, and is also translated as holy one. This word only occurs in the book of Daniel. In Daniel 4 and 5, the word is translated as holy or holy one, and it is only translated as saint in chapter 7. This is important because the Daniel prophecy concerning the final time of trouble is partially explained in chapter 7. It says the little horn makes war with these saints, prevails against them, wears them out, and they will be given into its hand for a time, times, and half a time. So who are these saints, and when are they given into the hand of the little horn? The first rule the book of Daniel teaches us is that each character in the prophecy represents something else. A goat does not actually represent a goat, it represents grace. The bear and the leopard do not represent animals, they represent governments. The head, belly, and legs of the image do not represent actual body parts, they represent periods in history. This is possibly the most important rule in the book of Daniel. Every character mentioned represents something. We have already identified many of these characters. The little horn is the little country of Israel. This is different from true Israel, which represents humanity. The little horn is part of the final beast. The final beast is the United Nations, and it is also the false god Yahweh. The United Nations created the little horn Israel in 1947 and 48. The little horn, Daniel says, has eyes, a mouth, and a hand. Again, the Daniel rule is that these are all codes for something else. The eyes, we're told, are like the eyes of humans in Daniel 7:8. It says the little horn plucked up three of the first horns. The first three horns represent the French, British, and Russian protectorates in the region when Israel was still international territory under the League of Nations. These three kingdoms were removed when the UN established Israel. The next point mentions the eyes of the little horn that are like the eyes of humans and a mouth speaking great things. It's important to understand this before we can identify who the saints are. Daniel 7, 8, and 20 says the little horn has eyes like the eyes of a man. That word for man refers to humans. So the little horn has eyes like the eyes of humans. Daniel 7, 7 and 8, and 20 through 24 says the little horn is part of the beast. If the little horn is part of the beast, then the eyes of the little horn are the eyes of the beast. Hosea 13, 4 through 8, and Revelation 13, 1 and 2 tell us the beast is Yahweh. Zechariah 4, 2 through 10 tells us the eyes of Yahweh are the seven candlesticks. Revelation 1, 20 says the seven candlesticks are the churches, and Revelation 11, 4 tells us two of those candlesticks are the two witnesses. Therefore, the eyes of the little horn are the two witnesses, who are the Christians and Jews. Daniel 7, 8, and 20 says the little horn also has a mouth. The little horn is part of the beast, and Revelation 13, 6, and 7, and Daniel 7, 20, and 21 confirm that the mouth of the little horn is the mouth of the beast. Revelation 13, 2 says the mouth of the beast is the lion. Daniel 2 and 7 tell us the lion represents Babylon. So, the mouth of the little horn is Babylon. Babylon the Great is also the religious empire. 
Deuteronomy 32 tells us the mouth, Babylon, creates a false doctrine that will cause people to worship Yahweh, the beast. Therefore the eyes and the mouth of the little horn are the eyes and mouth of the beast, which are the churches of the religious empire. The eyes and mouth of the little horn are the churches, Babylon the Great. In Daniel 7.25, we're told the little horn also has a hand. The little horn is part of the beast, and the mouth of the little horn is the mouth of the beast. So the hand of the little horn is the hand of the beast. Revelation 13.2 says the beast has the feet of the bear. After decoding the riddle in Daniel 7, 5, and 15, we know the bear is Persia. A bear uses its front two paws like hands. The hand of the beast is actually a bear paw, and the bear is Persia. Therefore, the hand of the little horn is Persia. The Persian Empire existed in the same geographical location as the Ottoman Empire, the final horn of the goat. This is explained in Daniel 8. It's talking about the goat, which it tells us represents Greece, and the first horn was Alexander the Great. Alexander's death then split Greece up into four sections, verse 8, and out of one of those four sections it says, a little horn will arise. The four sections were Ptolemaic Egypt, Seleucid Mesopotamia, Anatolia which was in Turkey, and Macedonia which was Greece. Each of these four horns represents a large empire of history, ancient Mesopotamia, ancient Egypt, and ancient Greece had already risen. But the Turkish Empire did not rise until 1299 CE. This is explained in Daniel 8, 22 and 23. In the latter time of those four kingdoms, a king of fierce countenance shall rise and destroy by peace. The Turkish Empire rose up in 1299 and it fell in 1923. The king of fierce countenance was the League of Nations, which rose up in 1920 at the latter end of the Turkish Empire. The League of Nations then became the United Nations. Daniel 8 verse 24 says this king will destroy the holy people. This is word 6918, which also means saint or set apart. This is the king that created the little horn. In fact, it is the little horn. Israel was international territory belonging to the League of Nations before it was declared a state. It is actually a UN territory. The little horn is part of the beast. The hand is the hand of the beast, which is the paw of the bear, which is Persia. The bear, the first Persian empire, covered the same basic area where the Turkish empire later dominated. The hand of the little horn is a location. It is the location of the Persian empire. This is where the saints of Daniel 7 are. In Daniel 7 verse 21, it says the little horn made war with the saints. Then in verse 25, it says the little horn shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and they will be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of a time. The word translated as given, number 3052, also means lay or laid. So this verse can also say, the saints of the Most High will lay in the hand of the little horn. The hand is the paw of the bear, which was ancient Persia. So it's saying the saints of the Most High will lay in Persia. In other words, they will be in the area of the world where the first Persian Empire was. So who exactly are the saints of the Most High? The word for saint in Daniel, we already saw, means separate. The word translated as Most High, number 5946, is Elyon, and it stems from word 5945, also Elyon, which stems from word 5927, which is Allah. So the saints of Elyon, of which the root word is Allah. In other words, Daniel 7 is specifically telling us the little horn will make war with and wear out the saints of Allah who lay in the hand or the barefoot, which is Persia and this will go on for a time, times, and half a time. According to the Bible code, the time, times, and half a time can equal any number that is the sum of a number times two and a number divided by two. It can equal 1260 days or years. It can equal three and a half years, which is 42 months. 
and it can equal 70, 73.5, and 77 years. The little horn rose up in 1948, therefore 73 and a half years later would be 2021, and 77 years later would be 2025. The recent Daniel fulfillments that we've seen end in 2025. In Revelation 13, however, there's something slightly different happening. In verses 5-7, through 7, it says the beast will be given power to continue for 42 months, and at this time the beast will blaspheme God, God's name, God's tabernacle, and the people who dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. This is important because the 42 months cannot be a 70-year period, it can only be a three and a half year period. But again, the saints here represent people that are in a certain geographical area. When we look at the whole timeline, we can see that the prophecy tells us the beast will be destroyed by the burning stone from heaven. That stone, it says, will hit at the end of the 1260 years, that's the first time times in half a time, and that is when the multitude will fly into a place prepared for them in heaven. This is a multitude of all tribes and nations, including some from Persia and Israel. But the worshippers of the beast will stay behind, and the beast will continue its reign after that asteroid for 42 months, which is three and a half years, the final time times in half a time. The word for saints in Daniel 7 represent those in Persia, the separate, but the wheat and tares grow together and are not separated until the harvest. So some of the saints of Allah go up in the rapture and others stay behind. Those who are saved by God are in heaven for that final three and a half years after the asteroid and the ones who are left behind are on the earth during that final three and a half years. The ones left on the earth are the ones the beast overcomes during the final 42 months. This explains why some saints are in heaven during this time and others are on the earth, because this word for saint in Daniel 7 means the separated. It's not the definition that Babylon created. Even when the word holy is used, it means separated or set apart. For more information on the entire timeline, go to indigoflower.net. Thank you so much to those who continue to make this work possible. If you like this video, please consider providing support. I hope you're doing well, and I'll talk to you again soon.